That's okay. Just try to behave. I think the sun must have got to you or something. Yes, maybe that's it. Uh, Maurice, if I may, you have a fine show here, and, and I'm glad to be on it. But everyone within the sound of my voice and smell will die in the fires of doom. It is written. TV is trash. Radio is trash. Our newspapers are run by Canadians with an agenda. Our very way of life is threatened. We form this great state to play golf. And I'll be damned if any weirdo hippies are going to tell us we can't fill in wetlands and make a home for ourselves complete with 18-hole championship standard courses and selective admission. Heathens will ruin the land. Acid will rain from the skies. We'll never hear my voice again. It will be anarchy. TV teaches immorality. Refugees, glue, the price of tea in China. How can we raise children in this environment? My little boy asked me the other day. Mommy, are unicorns real? What am I supposed to say to that? Do I lie and make myself as bad as the boy's father? Or do I break the little boy's heart and ruin his life so that he ends up a nudist or a freak or something? It's a difficult question, Jan. Very... Master Richards, as a human being, I have to say, I find your philosophy or cult or whatever it is utterly and completely appalling. Why, thank you. I knew you'd understand. I mean, you seem to want to build a religion around yourself and some 1950s vision of America. It's the 1980s, man. And one-man worship me cults are not allowed, my friend. Exactly. As I say in the great book, many a call, but unless you have a good credit record... Things are starting to come together nicely here. What's the plan, Tommy? Que pasa, amigo? The plan is you keep doing that like a moron. <laughs> Anyhow, we need a driver. Tommy, I'll do it. I can drive. <laughs> you want Hillary, mister. Not some smart-talking law school chum. Hillary's a real deal. You ain't never seen anyone drive so fast. I'll give him a call here. Hey, Hill. It's Phil. How's it going? No, don't talk. We'll reminisce later. You want to do me a favor? I got me a guy from up north. Oh, no, I don't think he was in the service. But he wants a driver for a bit of action. Okay. I understand. What do you say? Well, he'll do it. No problem. Well, there might be a little problem. See, he has abandonment issues. Seems he won't work for anyone who can't beat him. Something to do with his mama. Anyway, he wants to race you first. Said he'd meet you outside. Abandonment issues. Who is this freak? Why can't I meet someone normal for a change? You Tommy? Oh, of course you're Tommy. I mean, why else would anyone want to speak to me? Okay, consider it this way. I'll drive for you if, and only if, you can drive properly. Leave me alone, and I'll never forgive you.
Okay, I'll drive for you, but please treat me bad.